What is going on guys? Welcome to Infamous Mind episode 2. In this episode, we're going to be working on finishing up the Street GT Wing first carbon prototype. If you follow us on Instagram, you will have already seen some photos of the wing. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, pull out your phone right now and give us a follow because you're definitely missing out. In the last episode, we finished what is referred to as the plug which is basically an exact representation of what we want our finished part to look like. Now comes the process of actually molding this plug so that we can build our carbon fiber version of it. The first step of this process was to wax both sides of the wing, so top and bottom. I built up around five layers of wax with about 30 minutes wait time between each coat, so it's definitely a timely process. Next, we needed to decide where our parting lines would be. Since I'm going to be molding this wing in two halves, I needed to split the wing along a seam, which will separate the top half from the bottom half. Honestly, this is like 10 times harder than I thought it would be. I got one side pretty much done, second side cut out. This piece basically sits around here. After we constructed the flange, which is what's going to help us split this into two halves, we needed to fill up the edge with clay and ensure that there's no gaps between the plug and the actual molding surface itself. I took jumbo playing cards and butted them up as close to the plug as possible. I think there was about a one millimeter gap uh, where the actual clay would be in contact with the gel coat. All right, so the flange has been built. This took me about two days to do. This is a two-part mold, meaning the wing will be split top half and bottom half. This is, of course, the bottom half. I built up a flange around the border, and I'm going to mold this half, the wing, uh, wait till it cures, and then flip it over and mold the top half of the wing. I'm just wiping off any of the excess clay, and then I'm gonna be going around and actually waxing the surface another couple times and in between waiting for the coats we're gonna go set up the HVLP spray gun get this thing ready to be PVA and then that's a process in itself so that's gonna take a couple hours for sure my PVA which is polyvinyl alcohol. I'm going to be mixing 50-50 with water and then spraying two very light coats on top of the wing followed by two heavier coats. So now we're going to do two heavier coats. Looks like we're getting good atomization. Uh, I'm going to let this self level and then we'll check on it in a little bit. I've already learned from this. I think I used too thick of coupling coat. I should have used something a bit thinner, but I think this will still work. There is a problem. 
Uh, the gel coat looks like it thinned out in a few areas, so I tried to reinforce those areas with uh, fiberglass. I'm just going to layer this up now, probably do another three or four layers on top of this and that should be nice and strong. So far so good. This actually turned out way better than I thought it would. I'm extremely pleased with this. And then the actual wing got a bit damaged during the process too, so I'm gonna try to repair that. I don't know man, I'm pretty happy with this. This is the first time I've ever worked with gel coat and I'm actually really surprised at how nicely it went on. The wing has not melted yet, thankfully. We're off to a great start. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this. Next is the part that I have been looking forward to for four months. It's time for carbon. This just being a prototype, I decided to just do a wet layup because I'm a lot more familiar with it. And I just wanted to see what it looked like and get it done without having to wait for more materials. So I'm going to be ordering a couple things needed to do the actual infusion. Uh, I actually knew that this wing wouldn't turn out 100% during the process and I'll explain a little bit more about that later. Once four layers were built up in the mold, I cut out the vacuum bagging materials, starting with peel ply, which is basically a non-stick cloth that prevents any consumables from fusing to the carbon itself. After that, I did the breather cloth, which helps to absorb any excess resin, and also it helps to disperse the vacuum pressure evenly amongst the whole mold. Then I sealed the vacuum bag and turned on the pump. I repeated the whole layout process on the top half of the wing. Uh, it was having a few issues sticking into the corners. This is the point that I knew that there would be a few issues with the final part. I just couldn't get it to see in the corners and the more times you push it and it lifts off, it creates air pockets and air bubbles in the cosmetic layer of the resin. So I knew right away that there were going to be a few issues with the corners and the edges of the top half of the wing. So with both halves fully cured, we need to remove the vacuum bag materials and start the process of bonding the two wing halves together. To do this, I used a product called colloidal silica, which is basically a thickening additive used with epoxy resin to create a thicker glue almost. Then I took some black dye and I put it into the mix just to make sure that the resin and silica mixture were fully opaque. I built up a nice thick bead around the edge and then bolted the two mold halves together to allow the epoxy to cure. 
Once the epoxy cured, it came time to see the result of four months of hard work. Literally blood, sweat, and tears went into this wing, and it all comes down to this moment. So the wing turned out really good, however there are a few issues with it, specifically on the corners and the edges. As I mentioned, I couldn't get the carbon to fully seat uh, when I was doing the wet layup, and as a result I knew there was going to be air pockets and voids in the actual resin. It's not that bad, but it's bad enough that I'm not going to be using this wing. Once again, this is just a prototype, so the next few layups I'm going to try to do an actual vacuum infusion versus a wet layup and I should get much better results. It should take care of all of these air pockets and voids so the next version should be 100%. This one I'd say is about 70 to 75%. I'm still really pleased with how it turned out. Uh, honestly when I first started this I didn't even think that it was fully possible so it just goes to show that if you have an idea, if you have even the slightest idea of how to do it. You just have to start the process of it and trust that you can solve each step of the way and figure out and face each problem as it comes to you. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and we will see you on episode 3. We're building some crazy shit once again, so be sure to follow that. Peace.